Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Throwdown for the week of January 16th, 2021. This is Luke the Big Dog Williams. I'm Caleb Black, along with our in-studio producer, the mighty Max Fury. And it's time for... Wasn't that a finish? We've talked about... Lay Superkick. We've talked about... The Pile Driver. We've talked about... The Power Bomb. Today we're talking We've about... We've talked about... The DDT. Oh, the DDT. Yeah, I forgot about the DDT. Well, that's a good See? one. Today we're talking about... The Lariat. Oh, it's all broken. Uh, the Lariat is not just a clothesline, as some people consider it. Uh, clothesline is less invasive. <laughs> one would say. Invasive. Uh, as Good a, word. Uh, as a clothesline is a defensive. Less is penetrating. Yeah, yeah. It is is an offensive strike using the momentum of the opponent uh, in a in an oncoming position. The Lariat is the uh, giving opponent using his momentum forward. Yes. So they are two different moves. Yes. Uh, popularized by Stan Hansen. <laughs> if you don't know who Stan Hansen is, we will absolutely do a deep dive on Stan Hansen at some point. Ooh, that'd be, that'd be uh, oh, man. Uh, major wrestling star of old from Texas, uh, the territories, and especially in Japan, where he became just the biggest fucking thing since Betty White. The biggest draw since Brody. Uh, <laughs> since Bruce Brody. Brody. Uh, no one's as big as Betty White. That's true. That's true. Ninety nine. Did you know she's boy. older than than older than sliced bread? bread? Yeah, yeah. The gal is younger than you. This makes more money than I make more money. Says Tucker. Says Tucker. So let's talk about the lariat. Uh, we we say <laughs> <laughs> uh, we say that it was used as a finish because it was uh, obvious names uh, to popularize and use the lariat as a finisher forever. Uh, as we mentioned, Stan Hansen. JBL with the clothesline from hell. Uh, Iris. Iris. Yeah. Iris. They used to yeah. call it the write off. The write off. Uh, even Hulk Hogan used the Lariat at one time, which I did not know. Uh, well, yeah. Um, he never really used it as a finish. I mean, I, I, I'm guessing he did it uh, at times that he didn't drop the leg drop. Yeah. But uh, as far as I can remember, and, I don't remember it being a finish of Hogan's. Right. Uh, the Warrior used to yep. hit him with several lariats. Yep. Uh, and we could talk about, honestly, there are so many Japanese wrestling names to have used the lariat. We could. Uh, we forgot all. one. Dustin, Dustin Rose. Rose. Yeah. As Gold Dust used to hit used a to mean lariat. lariat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Barry Windham. Now, yeah. Oh, Barry Windham. He should have been on the underrated list. He really did. So should have Gold Dust. Damn. But. We're doing a we're doing a part two of that. It's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, but now, now yeah. as a strike, it is used often uh, just as a, uh, as we talked about before, a setup maneuver to yeah. either another maneuver or as a false finish, as one would call it. Uh, Brody Lee hit a mean lariat. Brody Lee's lariat the was a lariat. finisher. Yeah, was a finisher. Yeah, uh, Adam Page's. Uh, oh, what does he call it? The buckshot lariat. The buckshot lariat. Yeah. So, the, so that's another guy using yes. it to finish it. Yeah. JBL is the best one. Oh, JBL's clothesline from hell is nasty. JBL's clothesline from hell is nasty. Uh, and the it's same reason so that nasty. Stan Hansen's was, and that's because it was legitimate. Yeah. Well, Stan Hansen was also legally blind, so he also was <laughs> blind. <laughs> he was swinging at you. You just meant to make sure you were standing in the right spot. Make sure your fucking <laughs> neck was up, or you were done. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 one of my favorite moves. Um, one of my absolute favorite maneuvers. Watching people take it, uh, usually my favorite of watching people take it was like how Rikishi and, and people like that would take it where they'd flip out of it. Yeah. Blah, because it was just like, holy oh, yeah. shit. You know what I mean? Uh, Lance Archer uses something similar. Yeah. Uh, when I think of lariats uh, or variations of the clothesline, I mean, it's in its most basic form, it's a clothesline. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about the discus lariat, a lot of people talk Brody Lee, and yes, uh, no disrespect to Brody Lee, his was great. But when I think the discus clothesline, I think of two men. I think of the man who did it originally, and I think of the man who ripped him off and did it. And that's Mick Foley, yeah, this Cactus Jack, yeah. and Diamond Dallas Page DDP. who ripped it off of him. Oh man, DDP's uh, discus lariat was two of fucking the great, and they were close range. Yeah, which also proved that the lariat didn't have to be from from a distance. No, uh, well, fuck, all, JBL would. Just waltz uh, toward yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lesnar has yeah, a Larry at yeah. Or used oh, to. Yeah, turn, turn him inside out. Even the big guys. Oh, man. Yeah. They uh, sent JBL to punish Saturn was one of the most vicious lariats oh, yeah. I've ever seen in my entire or, uh, life. Or when, uh, whenever they uh, beat the... A public enemy. Public enemy. Thank you. I was trying to remember yep. their name. <laughs> JBL hits... Uh, 
Johnny Rock, Johnny Rocks, right? Uh, Rocco Rock. Rocco Rock. Yeah. Hits Rocco Rock clean out of his fucking <laughs> y'all know boots. how to y'all know how to work a two by four. <laughs> You know, but you know how to work a two by four now, don't you? <laughs> That's a story about the acolytes in Team 3D. <laughs> Sorry, we're, did I just call them Team 3D? You did. How wow! Dare you? How dare you? The Dudley Boys. <laughs> but yeah, no. When it comes <laughs> to Lariats, uh, JBL for sure. Uh, Stan Hansen for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's, uh, I'll tell you who has a really underrated lariat, but it was a reverse lariat to the back of the head. Bobby, Bobby Roode. Roode. Used to be his finisher, and it was so sick. Uh, yeah, and you know the funny thing is, he took that finisher from A One because A One. A One, you oh yeah, forgot about A One. What's he was doing? Was the now? Northern, Northern Lights clothesline or yeah. some shit like that? Yeah, he's probably a car salesman. Uh, one cannot forget the Steiner line. Oh yeah, Rick Steiner's lariats. I would not, were, oh my god, I would not take. I would. <clears throat> I would be one of the guys in the territories that if they found out they were rushing the Steiners, I would just quit. Business. Yeah, like I would have just <laughs> gave somebody my boots on the way out. You can't really put the Steiners in there because they're just they're they're just on their own. Yeah. How about you know? Taker? Taker and the lariat. Jumping yeah. Larry. Oh um, yeah. The or Kane and the Lariat from, from the, the top, top rope. rope. Yeah. Yeah, I mean examples of big guys using. I just thought about another discus lariat. Raven had one. Yes, yeah, which he ripped off the DDP. Most but. of the time, though, Raven didn't get the extension. He had it kind of curved in like this, so yeah. he was catching the, the hooked arm lariat. Yeah, which yeah, which is one of the very uh, Benoit. Benoit had a lariat. Yeah. Used to snap people with the lariat yeah. and then snapped. Again, a man that was all on his own. <laughs> It certainly was. Hardcore <laughs> Holly had one too. Hardcore Holly, of course. Again, shoot because he would just knock your head off. Daniel Pewter knows. Oh man, we Don't rewatched we rewatched the Daniel Pewter beat down today from the Royal Rumble two thousand five. But yeah, no, the 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 lariat probably one of the most legitimate yeah wrestling moves yeah. like strikes yeah that you could possibly have. I completely agree. Uh, who does your favorite? Here, I'll just ask. I'll just ask the question people really want to know: Stan Hansen or JBL? Stan Hansen. JBL. Uh, and uh, the only reason I say Stan Hansen is because Stan, JBL could work his lariat. Stan Hansen never worked his lariat. Well, again, he was legally blind. My point Couldn't if you being, wanted to. <laughs> my point being, when you talk about hard hitting and uh, execution, had to be Stan Hansen. Ah, oh, man, I'm trying to think. Now, JBL had a lot more uh, reach. Well, yeah, he was, he was also four inches armed. taller than... Then. But when Stan Hansen was a Texas boy, a big, thick, so corn-fed motherfucker, uh, JBL come from New York City. They don't make salsa in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm actually, I'm going to go against my better judgment and say JBL as well. I think it just, there's something about it. The thing I liked about JBLs, and this is such a, like a small little detail, you could always hear it connect. When he hit you, you always heard the skin-to-skin, -skin, like... It just always sounded nasty. It always looked nasty, and you feel it. And, and like, especially if you hit it on a bigger guy, because he'd come in and like fucking tumble but down you, afterward. But you said that it was either Stan Hansen or, or Bradshaw. That's what I said. The most connecting, loudest sounding lariat was Foley's. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Because it was tight. That's a good point. And it was close. Yeah. And they had no choice but to bump. Well, yeah. That's fair. Also, but it, it, in between, uh, when you go Bradshaw and you go Stand Hansen, Hansen, my pick personally is Hansen, Hansen but yeah. I cannot Discount discredit those, yeah, those. Nor can we for Stand Bradshaw, Hansen. because let's face it, I've seen Bradshaw fuck some people up bad. Man. So, that one yeah, he for hit, sure. who was it? On, uh, was it Victor or Connor? Of the... Uh, Perry Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> the man literally went into hiding for 12 years. That's right. Or uh, the, whenever, he, whenever they had the legends beating the shit out of Heath Slater every week. You just leave Heath Slater. And JBL just that. gets up out of the fucking thing and plow! The man had kids. That wasn't, even, that wasn't even right. That wasn't even right. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know who throws your favorite lariat in the comments down below. After you like and subscribe, send us an email at prowrestlingthrowdown at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prowrestlingthrowdown. Follow us on Twitter at prowrestlingtd. No Twitch stream this week. Didn't feel up to it. No. Don't worry. We'll promote. Good lord. We'll promote it again. We'll let you guys know we're going to be back on Twitch. Stay tuned. We got more videos dropping this week on here, on the YouTubes, on the channels.
Facebook, find us. Thanks.